Sup, y'all, bringing guys another video. Let's bring guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Filip Hergovic and Marko Doncic. They recently fought over in Europe. Fight. <laughs> fight was very one sided. Hergovic won this fight by TKO after four rounds, or after the third round, I should say. Um, you know, uh, Radonjic couldn't. Well, he could have fought in the fourth round, but the referee stopped the fight, and rightfully so, because the dude. Radonjic got knocked down not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but a total of five times in this fight. Four times in round number two and once in the third. It was a very, very one-sided fight. Radonjic suffers his first loss in his pro career. I'm going to be completely honest, man. This fight was more of a comedy fight. I was laughing my ass off. Laughing my ass off watching this fight. I was watching the Tony Yoko fight as well, but holy cow, man. This one was just hilarious. This fight with Dinergovic and Radonjic. It's just too funny, man. Too funny. Um, yeah, it was it was just all all Hergovic, Hergovic landing all the punches. Radonjic looked very wild and looked like he was just trying to land something big but couldn't land anything. Radonjic couldn't like he landed maybe one or two punches, but Hergovic absolutely showed the difference in skills between the two. Hergovic is a former Olympian, former medalist. He went out there, showed his boxing skills, picked his shots, stayed calm and broke apart the wild and aggressive Radonjic who in my opinion came in this fight way out of shape if you look at his previous fights he weighed around like 230 for this fight he almost weighed 250 and he had a little belly going on for him so he kind of went to this fight very out of shape I don't know how serious he took this fight but but yeah but he did show I'll give him this though I'll give I'll give Radonjic this he showed a lot of heart and determination he went out there and and you know he really actually tried to you know, move forward and fight in this in this uh, fight against Helgovic. But uh, the corner, the referee, everybody watching this fight was like, dude, this stopped the fight already. The dude went down four or five times. There's no way he's winning. So, so yeah, good job to uh, Helgovic on the win. Congrats again to Helgovic on the win. 13 wins now. 11 by Naka or TKO. It's definitely time. Definitely time for Helgovic to fight the top fighter in his division. If you look at the uh, rankings, um... Not this rankings to go up to heavyweight. Uh, Hergovic is what ranked number four under the IBF. He's ranked number thirteen under the WBO, and he's ranked number nine by the WBC. So he's up there in the rankings for these three out of the four sanctioning bodies, and definitely time for him to top fight fight fifteen, a top fifteen guy. I mean, they did try to make the Michael Hunter fight, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, maybe Charles Martin would be a good fight. You know, anybody here would be a nice fight for for Hergovic, in my opinion. And hopefully that's the fight we see next for Philip Hergovic. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how the future holds for Hergovic. I'll definitely keep you up on uh, what happens next for him. Uh, for Mark Radonjic, just back to the drawing board for him, try to rebound from this loss. I guess go back to fighting cab drivers. I mean, look at the level of opposition he's been fighting throughout his career. I and mean, come on, who really thought he was going to win this fight? Come on. <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.